Welcome to the Element Pack widget tutorial. In today's video, we'll explore the ACF Tabs widget. The ACF Tabs widget from Element Pack Pro is a powerful tool that lets you display advanced custom fields, like repeater or group fields, inside a clean tabbed layout. It integrates seamlessly with Elementor, giving you full design control while organizing dynamic content in a user-friendly way. It is perfect for showcasing product data, FAQs, services, and more. Feeling interested? Let's get started. To start using the ACF Tabs widget, you'll first need to have both the Advanced Custom Fields and Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugins installed and activated on your WordPress site. These plugins are essential for the ACF Tabs widget to function properly. Once you've done that, navigate to the ACF tab in your WordPress dashboard. This will take you directly to the Field Group section. At the top left of this page, you'll notice a button labeled Add New accompanied by a plus icon. Click on it, and a form will appear where you can begin creating a new field group. Give your field group a meaningful title, then click Save Changes located in the top right corner. At this point, your field group is created, although you may see it listed as having no label if a label hasn't been set yet. Click the Edit option to continue. In the next step, you can change the field type to suit your needs. You'll also want to enter a field label. This label is important as it will be visible on the page editing screen. Based on your field label, the field name will be automatically generated. You'll also have the option to define a default value if desired. For this setup, choose Repeater as your field type. Once selected, a subfield section will appear beneath it. This allows you to add multiple nested fields inside the repeater. Click Add Field to begin. For the first subfield, select text as the field type and assign a field label such as title. The field name will generate automatically. Then, click Add Field again to confirm this subfield. Next, create another subfield with the label Subtitle following the same process. You should now see two subfields listed, Title and Subtitle. Continue by adding a third subfield. This time, choose YSI Wig Editor as the field type. Name this one content, and again, the field name will populate automatically. Scroll down to the Settings section, and under the Location Rules tab, set the rule so that post type is equal to page. Then click Save Changes in the top right to apply your settings. Now, Head to the Pages section in your WordPress dashboard and click Add New Page. On the New Page Editor, you'll notice your field group, for example, Design Team, is displayed. Click the Add Row button to start populating your tab content. Enter a title and subtitle, then within the content area, click Add Media to upload or select an image. You can repeat this process to add as many rows as needed. If your images don't appear in their original dimensions, you can adjust the image size directly within this section. Once you've added your content, go ahead and publish the page. After publishing, click Edit with Elementor to begin designing your layout using the ACF Tabs widget. The initial setup is now complete. From here, you'll move on to customizing the rest of the layout. Start by adding a container and adjusting its padding, margin, and width to match your specific design needs. Next, Type ACF tabs into the search bar and drag the appropriate widget icon into the Elementor editor. At first, you won't see any visible content. That's because it needs to be configured from the left side panel. Begin with the tab section. Under repeater field, select the ACF tabs group. 
Then, assign the correct fields. Choose Title for the Title field, Subtitle for the Subtitle field, and Content for the Content field. These fields should already be created and set up in your ACF group. Once everything is selected properly, your tabs will appear inside the editor. Now it's time to start styling and customizing the ACF tabs. The first setting you'll find is the layout option, where you can choose between four layout positions, top, bottom, left, or right. Try each layout to see how it fits your design and select the one that works best for your page. Just below this section, you'll find options for alignment, navigation spacing, and content spacing. Tweak these settings as needed to get the perfect balance and spacing. Next, you'll find the additional section. Here, you can set the activate item number to define which tab should be open by default when the page loads. You'll also see the transition option, which controls the animation that plays when switching between tabs. There are 15 pre-built transition animations to choose from, so preview a few and pick the one that fits your style. You can also adjust the animation duration to control the speed of the transition. A series of toggle switches is also available in this section to give you further control. These options allow you to enable features like Tabs Navigation Sticky, Full Width Navigation on Mobile, Swiping Tabs on Mobile, Hash Location, Equal Tab Height, and Connect Section Background. Activate or deactivate each one depending on your layout goals and how you want your tabs to behave across different devices. Now move over to the Style tab, where you'll begin refining the visual appearance. The first section here is Tab Wrapper. Within this area, you can set the background type and border type. You'll also have options to fine-tune the border radius and add padding to get the spacing just right. Continue to the Tab section, where there are three customization states, Normal, Hover, and Active. Under the Normal state, you can adjust the text color, background type, and border type. In the active state, additional controls allow you to customize the style color, background type, text color, box shadow, border type, and border radius. The hover state gives you control over the background type, text color, and border color. Returning to the normal tab, you can also fine tune the border radius, row gap, padding, typography, and box shadow for even more detailed styling. Next is the subtitle section, which also includes normal, hover, and active states. Under normal, you can adjust the text color, spacing, and typography. In the active state, you're able to change the text color to highlight the selected tab. Now, let's move to the content section. Here, you'll be able to set the background type, text color, border type, border radius, padding, and typography. These settings let you fully style the tab content area to match your overall design theme. Finally, head over to the icon section. As with other areas, this section also includes the three states, normal, hover, and active. In the normal state, 
you can control the icon alignment, color, and spacing. The hover state allows you to define the hover color effect, while the active state lets you specify the color used when a tab is currently selected. And that's it! Once you've added your custom fields and styled the tabs to fit your design, just hit the Save button. The ACF Tabs widget makes it easy to present complex or structured content in a clean, tabbed layout, perfect for product details, FAQs, services, or any dynamic ACF data. It's a smart way to organize information and enhance user experience across your site. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching Ultimate Store Kit. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more powerful widget tutorials. See you in the next one.